me, and this week's video is the last video of 2021. Can you believe it? This year has just flown by crazy fast for me. In the past, I think the past three years has it been? Oh my gosh. It's crazy. The past three years, I've done a ranking video where I rank all of the squishies that I've painted in the last year. This year, I'm doing a very similar thing, but I'm broadening the criteria. This year, I will be ranking every single thing that I painted on. Of course, this includes includes all the squishies that I made this year, but it also includes thrift store makeovers, shoes and clothes, and all kinds of different stuff that I've painted on this year. My list includes 52 different things. I grouped a lot of stuff together, so there are many, many sets of things. It's probably more like 80 items. Also, this is definitely not everything that I made this past year. I painted on myself. I'm not including that. <laughs> Bummer. I painted on those massive canvases that are currently in my living room that I didn't really want to bring down for this video, so I'm not including those. That's not including any digital drawings. That's not including any drawings that I did in my Create This Book. That's not including any crafts that I did. I can't believe that it's been one year since I was sitting here doing the last ranking video. Well, I wasn't sitting here because this was before I moved, so I was sitting in my other studio, but. So, a year older. Do I look any different? Have I aged at all? I don't know. I truly appreciate those of you who have been with me for this year. I know a lot of you have been watching for years. Years. I'm just so shocked every year that goes by that there are still people watching me. I always feel like I'm just gonna wake up one day and everyone's gonna be like, bye, we don't like you anymore. And then somehow you guys still show up every Friday and I'm pleasantly delighted. So thank you to everyone who keeps showing up to watch my videos. It's been fun, guys. It's been real. We've had a great year. It's all happened and things have been there and stuff. So anyway, that's my end of the year speech. You may notice a few little empty spots in my shelves. That is because I have already taken every single thing that I painted and they are spread out on the floor in front of me. Anything you see back here is something that I've painted not this past year, but in a year before that. By the way, there are going to be a lot of spoilers in this video because I'm going to be showing a lot of different things that I've made. You got a year's worth of videos to watch before you watch this one, my friends. Let's get into the ranking. As always, I'm going to start at the very bottom. My least favorite thing that I painted on this year. It's almost an honor to be such a loser. The big loser of the year. Bum, ba, ba, bum. <laughs> This pair of shoes. It's very sad because they are strawberry themed shoes and I usually love the strawberry themed stuff, but I just don't like them. I just think that the design is rather ugly. Oh, oh ow! Ah! There they are. What do we think? Are they better on? They kind of match my outfit. I like them better on, I think. Oh, I don't know why I took the time to put this shoe on. Still the losers of the year. Next, coming in at number 51, it's a seashell. The design is really, really cliche, and I feel like it's just not me. I just didn't really connect with it at all. Eh. Next, number 50. It's another seashell. To be fair, the seashells may come in at the bottom of the list just because I can't really put a seashell design on top of some of the things that I did that were just so much more work. But it's not the poor seashell's fault. This seashell, I actually really liked when I made it, but I'm not as enthralled as I once was. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh. <sighs> Number 49, this freaking little towel. This was part of one of my dollar store makeovers. There wasn't really much that I could do and it's just not gonna make it high on the list, but I really don't have any problem with it. I think it turned out cute. It's just very simple. Number 48, my little, little pumpkin. I did a whole video of painting pumpkins and this was like the last one that I did when I was getting pretty tired. She's a little basic. It's very cute though. Oh! <gasps> 
Number 47, it's the first squishy of the video. So if I had just done a squishy ranking video, this would have been the loser. This one is so cute, what the heck? Again, it's just a little bit simple. This squishy was a hot mess before the makeover. So it is one of those that's a huge improvement from what it was. Number 46 is this little painted star. This is just like a really random small item that is cute, but my heart does not grow warm looking at it. Ugh. There was some fuzz and I caught it. Number 45 is the dessert painted paintbrush. You guys asked me to paint paintbrushes and I did and like, what the heck? Actually, it looks really cool on camera. I kind of like it, I do. Number 44, this box. I feel like I like that paintbrush better than I like this box. I swear I switched everything around like 30 times. It's very, very difficult to rank these things because they're all so different. How can you compare a box to a towel to shoes? But I'm doing my best. The scraggliness of the box is not my favorite. Number 43, this vase. Hello, you're echoing. I did these two in the same video. Maybe I was having an off week. It happens. Every video can't be a 10. I feel like the water is a little whack. The clouds are a little whack. Eh, it was a vase. I painted it. Number 42 is another squishy. It's my stack of donuts. I still do like it, but they don't look as luscious as I was hoping. Number 41, this candle holder, which is not a candle holder anymore. I turned it into like a jewelry dish. I, I, I don't know. I like the details of this one. Like I love the coral around the bottom. I love the little seal poking his head out. But overall, I feel like the impact isn't as beautiful and colorful as I was imagining. Number 40 is the other painted paintbrush. Couldn't get the pin out of this one. It's, it's hanging on the wall, so let me not poke my eye out with that. This is cool, actually. I do like this. It's an art sculptural piece about art. That's reaching a little bit. Number 39, coming in right after the rainbow paintbrush, is the rainbow paint. I think the thing that makes me like it a little bit less is I'm really bad with handwriting. When I have to write letters on stuff, I'm never happy with how they look. A -E. Number 38, my set of woodland creatures, seashells, which makes no sense. I like Frank the skunk that haunts our backyard. I feel like these are great designs for painted rocks, but they're kind of weird on seashells. I'm having trouble getting past that. Number 37, this is an Easter themed squishy and this one is adorable, I love it. Maybe if today was Easter, this would be higher on my list, but with seasonal stuff, once the holiday is over, then I'm kind of over it. You were cool at Easter, but you're out of season now. Number 36, my little bowl of painted acorns. I did these very recently. I somehow spent the entire video painting this. It's not the largest project that I've ever completed. I actually really do like them though. They're super cute. Number 35, my Georgie box. I feel like I like my acorns better than my Georgie box. <gasps> oh. This is so hard. I'm so stressed. This is another dollar store makeover. The thing that I don't love about it is how the back still has the original pointiness of the top. That back just makes me a little nauseous. Number 34, my set of candy and fruit themed seashells. I love how they go together and they kind of like yin yang each other. Number 33 is the other Easter themed squishy. I think it just looks so edible, tasty looking. I didn't have to cut up anything or reattach or do anything crazy. I just repainted this one and the colors just made a huge difference. Number 32 is the second pair of shoes for the ranking video. This design is much more simple than most of the shoes that I paint, but I wanted to do some simpler designs that I might actually wear so that I don't feel like my heart is breaking if they got dirty. Have I actually worn them? 
No. I still don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> and we are starting to get into the things that I actually really like. Number 31, this t-shirt that I tie-dyed and painted on. I loved this video so much. Probably one of my favorite videos to make of the entire year. I don't know if it's really something that you guys loved all that much. I just personally really loved it. Number 30 is the last of my C-themed dollar store makeovers. On this video, everyone was commenting because I showed the before and after and the tray before had different handle holes. I forgot to film before I painted it. So then I had to get another tray and I did not notice that the handle holes were different shapes. You caught me. Number 29, this is my set of no, they're not monsters. They're aliens that don't really look like aliens. I mean, nobody knows what an alien looks like, but this just doesn't really give me alien vibes. Maybe they're space monsters still aliens. Anyway, these came out so cute. I really, really freaking love these. Number 28 is large. It is my paintbrush organizer. It's gotten uh, a little more paint on it since I painted it. I've been still working on it slowly. One little splash of paint at a time. I see this every day pretty much when I'm using it. Still not sick of the design. Number 27 is another one of my tie-dyed slash painted on on shirts. This one is the little cat ice cream with a rainbow background. I haven't worn this outside of my videos because there's only one, you know, and I don't want to get it dirty. But what if we could have this shirt produced? That would be amazing. And then I could wear it. Would you guys like to wear this? Please tell me yes so that I can have it produced so that I can wear it. <laughs> Number 26, my little clay figure that I made using Nerdy Crafters craft kit. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to using polymer clay or plaster or any of that. I was working so slow. That being said, I think that it's really cute if I'm not comparing it to what I think I could have done if I had more time. Also, a lot of people were really mad that I didn't do a tail for it. I'm sorry that the bare anatomy is not realistic enough. I know that the skirt and the bow communicate that I am going for complete realism here, so I should have followed through with that. Moving on to number 25, it's Burial. 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 She's a bear wearing a fish costume. I really like her, but I kind of made her and forgot about her until I pulled everything out to rank them. And then I realized, oh, I really like Burial. We are moving right along. Number 24, it's my cat head pumpkin. Hey guys. It was an attempt at spooky, but honestly, it still kind of looks pretty cutesy. Let's be real. Number 23, my set of blob mini planters. I think this might have been the start of the obsession of the blob. Number 22, what used to be a popcorn box. Now it's full of these little jelly squishies. Also, I put this box on my head both times that I had it in a video. I would do it again, but then all these squishies are gonna fall. Was it worth it? Number 21, my day and night shoes. These were in that video of painting shoes where I was trying to do simpler designs, but I got really carried away with the details of these and they ended up being much more detailed and... That's probably the reason why I like them more than that loser over there. Number 20, it's Chip. I'm Surprised to see you at number 20. Look at that, you beat Burial? You beat my painted shirts? How did you do that? Whether he earned number 20 exactly or not, he's definitely not at the bottom because I really love him. And let's just acknowledge that this year's people squishies are not the losers. Every other time I've tried people squishies, they have been an absolute train wreck. Number 19, my custom frame with my painting in it. It's a photo as I like to call it. It wasn't the most popular video of the year, but I think those of you who did watch this video really, really liked it. Number 18, it's another pickle and derp themed thing. Mm -hmm. Pickle and derp on and around a cheeseburger. I love this design. They are my special, special children. Number 17, the other human squishy of the year. Everyone make way for the queen herself, the donut queen, queen, queen of donuts. donuts. 
It took me forever to paint her because of all the little details going on everywhere, but it was totally worth it. Stand on your throne of donuts. Number 16 is my custom puzzle. It came out so fresh and vibrant and bold. This design just makes me really happy, so I just had to put it high up there on the list. Number 15. I gotta stop throwing things. Number 15 is my patchwork pumpkin, and oh my gosh, this one took forever. It's so busy and chaotic. It's amazing. So huggable. Number 14 is my other painted frame picture thing. Framed painting. Painted framed painting, picture, photo. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. I had such a fun time making it. The cow print frame, the expressions. Wilfred, Wilfred. Number 13, I did these a long time ago, but they are clearly still among my favorites. How many shoes did I do this year? When I brought everything out and I saw these, I got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, those are so freaking cute. I haven't seen them in a while. They were just, you know, stuffed in a drawer like a lot of my creations. Sorry guys. Number 12 is one of my thrift store makeovers. It's the recipe box. This one, it makes me hungry. <sighs> now prepare yourselves because things are going to get very blobby here. Number 11, my set of clay blobs. I mean, fish blob and froggy. I think it's clear that I'm obsessed with them. This no name loser. I don't really care about that one. <laughs> Some of you really, really liked this one for some reason. I still just don't love him like I love these two. Number 10, we have reached the top 10, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta make room for this one, okay. Number 10, my set of rainbow blob shoes. If this were any one of these pairs of shoes on their own, they would have ranked much lower just because they are simple. The reason that they get to the number 10 spot is because of how they are as a set. I mean, it's a complete rainbow of shoes. That's freaking awesome. It's too bad that I can't wear all six of them. Number nine is this massive squishy project that I did with one, two, three, four, five, six different squishies combined. It's kind of sad that I didn't name these two because they are beautiful and it was such a project. So it had to be ranked pretty high because I did not spend all that time on this for no reason, okay? It's gonna make it up there. Number eight, it's my box of blobs. It is decorated all the way around. I used to have my nail polish in there. Now I have some random phone cases. I don't know. This was when the blobs turned into a full out obsession. It stirred something inside of me. Next, my backpack with blobs. And actually, I feel like the box actually I like better than the backpack. This was the first paint with me video that I did and I just had such a fun day filming this video. Also, the angry lemon is on here. Really love the angry lemon. Number six is a set of six. My rainbow of squishies, kind of like my rainbow of shoes. Look at that, is that not beautiful? They're all in their little shoe cars. <laughs> Oh. I'm 27. Now that I'm looking at everything here, these might not be so high on the list had I painted them longer ago. They're still really exciting to me because I just recently painted these. Number five just fell off the table. I better go get it. Hello. Number five is my ice cream cat tower of squishies. Mm, 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 mm. This is a lot of squishy going on here. It's quite heavy. The height on that boy. There's no room for this one. Oh gosh. My custom bubblegum machine from a thrift store makeover. The only time I ever eat the gum out of it is when it's featured in a video. Look at Nelson blowing a fart bubble with the bubble gum. Number three, it's my set of blobs in a costume, Russian nesting dolls. <gasps> I dropped the strawberry, shoot. No, 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 no. Yeah. Got it. It's a huge set of dolls and these took absolutely forever. Lots of little details. Number two, you might be surprised. This, which was a thrift store makeover. It was just the vase that was from a thrift store and then I sculpted this whole top piece onto it. I just really loved making this one and I love how it came out. The colors, the little face, the tongue, everything is just so cute about this one. I feel like the winners are 
are hard to choose because I want to choose something that you guys will be happy with as well as something that I somewhat agree with. So I have to kind of try to guess what you guys would choose. And so the winners for this year are going to be Winnie and Wilfred. These might have been some of the most well-loved characters that I introduced this year. I'm gonna make them the winners for 2021. Okay, wow, that is it. That is everything that I've painted on in the past year. It's a lot of stuff. I'm drowning in a sea of rainbow cuteness, which is not a bad feeling. I'm not complaining. Also, I do want to say next week, I will not be posting. I have one week planned that I take off every year and it's the first week in January. So I will not be posting January 7th, but I'll be here the next week, which is Friday the 14th. And I'll be back for 2022 to make a whole new year of content. I'll see you guys then. Bye.